Hello everyone. We will continue the topic and we will start designing the layout. So this is the layout which we discussed and we will start with the designing of this layout. If you remember in the smart form what we did, for every section, for every separate section, we created a window. Here, for every section, we will create a subform. It depends upon your perception, what are the various subforms you want to take. So for everything, we will create a subform. Means we will create a subform and in that subform, we will go for title, sales order details. We will create a subform. In that subform, we will take sales order number and value of sales order number. We will create a subform for title header details. We will create a subform for header details values. We will create a subform for item details. And we will create a subform to display the item details. And we already covered in the previous video that your PDF form output is all about your body pages. Then we will go for a common thing which we can display on all the body pages that we will design on master page. But firstly, what we will do on this body page, we will take this as a body page. In that body page, we will go for separate, separate subforms and we will design this layout. So I will go for body page. So this is our body page. This is our body page. We'll firstly rename the body page so that it will be easy for us to understand. So I will right click on the body page. Rename. I will give some meaningful name to the body page. Suppose I'm saying it is sales order page. So our, this is our body page where we will design our layout, full layout. Now, I will simply click on to body page. I will right click on the body page. Insert sub form. I will go for insertion of the sub form. Before inserting the sub form, I will go for a most important point because this point needs to be understood at the initial level itself. If you see, this is our page. In this page, do you have a dynamic data? Yes, our item data is dynamic in nature. All these are static data, but our item data is dynamic in nature. Means if the line item will increase, our data should shift on to next page. So if your layout has dynamic data, you should take your page as floor, not as position. If you do not have dynamic data, yes, you can take the page as position. But here we have dynamic data. So first thing, we will take the page as floor only. How to do that? You can simply, simply Click select the page. Now the most important point. Every layout element has a object. Every layout element has a object. Means you can set the properties using that object. Suppose if I will select this page. Now the most important point. I will tell you one way. If you think during designing of the PDF forms, you lost somewhere or you are not able to see some layout element or you forgot something. So we have the best way that you can reset the palette locations 
so that you will be able to see each and everything again. Suppose I'm selecting this page, but I'm not able to see the object of this particular page. So what I will do, I'll simply go to palettes, workspace, reset palette locations. This is the most, most preferable way which everyone is doing. You can see after resetting the palette locations, I'm able to see the object. What people have a practice, they will simply select the object and put it at the top so that whenever they want to do or whenever they want to set the object of any layout element, they are always, always able to see here. Suppose if I'm clicking on to master page, this is the object of your master page. If I will click on to body page, this is the object of the body page. So people have this the best practice. They will always put it on the top so that every time they can see that particular thing. And I also have the same to same practice. So this is our body page. Just now I told you our data will shift to next page because we have item data. So I will take the page as floor, not as position. So this is the first point which you have to remember that if you have dynamic data, take the page as floor. Now, I will simply right click on the page and I will create a sub form insert sub form i will simply make this sub form as short because inside this sub form i only want to print sales order details i will firstly rename this sub form so that it will become easy for me to understand this is your sales order details title. Now, inside this sub form, I want to print a text sales order details. So I'll simply select this sub form. I'll go for insert standard and I will go for text. Now I will give the name to that text. I will simply give the name to the text sales order details. So I created a sub form in that sub form. I inserted a text and I gave the text sales order details. I'll just rename this text also. Sales order details. It's the best way so that you can understand what every sub form is all about. Now I will right click on the page and we will create a second sub form. So I will right click on the page. Insert sub form. Now, in this sub form, I'll just increase the width. I will decrease some height. Inside this sub form, I will print one label and I will print the value of the sales order number. Now, you will understand or you will learn next important thing. Whenever you want to print a label and the value, you have to create a text field in the Adobe form. So I'll firstly rename you the sub form. This is your sales order input. Here we will give the input. Now inside this sub form, I will go for insert standard. Now I will create a text field, text field, because you want label also, you want the value also. 
So we will go for text field. I will increase the width and the height. Width I, I increased. Now I will simply rename this. If this is your sales order number. I'll just increase the width so that I can write fully sales order number. Now we know every layout element has a object and this is the new learning here. You will see here in front of this, we want to print the value of sales order number. So how we can bind, how we can bind the value. You can simply select, you can simply select. And we know we have a object and you can go to binding. Whenever you will go to binding, we have a data binding here. Select data binding. You can use your Adobe form and you can see this is our input for the sales order number. If you remember, we took P underscore VBELN, which is the input for the order number. So I'll simply select this. So now you can see we binded this with our P underscore P P E L N, And it is the save button. Do not forget to save. I'll save. Now I will go for third sub form. I'll simply right click on the page. Insert sub form. In the third sub form, I only want to print header details. So I'll simply make it shorten because we only want to print header details. I will rename this sub form. This is header details title. Now in this sub form, I will create a text. I'll select this sub form. Insert standard text. And here I will write header details. And I will save this particular sub form or layout. Rest part of the layout we will continue in the next video. Thank you.